Hey guys, it's Pi, and today it's Theme Park Tycoon 2. Now, Theme Park Tycoon caught my eye when I saw that it was made by Den underscore S, who was the same guy who made Pool Tycoon 4. And you guys absolutely loved it when I built Mellowstone Park on the channel, so I think we'll be doing some uh, Theme Park Tycoon. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go back to uh, Pool Tycoon 4. But I literally just opened up the game. I haven't seen anything of Theme Park Tycoon yet. I'd imagine it's, you know, somewhat similar to, hopefully, the gameplay controls and the mechanics and the key bindings of Pool Tycoon 4. So it looks like we have two options. We should probably start a new game. Welcome to Theme Park Tycoon 2. Let us get started with your first park. Click on the Rides button at the bottom of your screen. Okay, you can just use one. Nice. Build a teacups ride to get it started. Build in the indicated area around it. Now click on the indicated spot to build an entrance. Oh, you have all kinds of details. Now build the exit the same way. Do I have to turn that around? Oh, I guess not. All ride entrances need a quee or a queue. A queue. I don't even know what that is for guests. Click on the path pass button to get started, which is four. Uh, we have the Q pass. I'll just call them the Q pass from now. Uh, we'll just take the ten dollar cobblestone because we're poor. Now a uh, normal path for exit. Okay, so this this is working a lot like uh, Crazy Man Thirty Two's way that he uh, tried to build this game. I mean, obviously Crazy Man Thirty Two really didn't get much further than the actual testing in one ride. Um. I don't know if this game is complete yet, but I think it might be a lot of fun. Click on your built ride to open its menu. Click open. And wow, we can name it entry cost. Um, I don't know if they have a thing where uh, entrance will make you cost. You have guide satisfaction, <laughs> excitement, intensity, nausea. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So, we can give it a different color, maybe? Hmm. Well, let's name it the Pie Cups. Why? Because I can. Uh, guests will also need stalls. Yeah, I mean, I'd usually be pretty happy if I can uh, go to the bathroom and stuff and eat. Build the selected soft string stall in the indicated area. Okay. Tutorial completed. You have completed the getting started tutorial. Use the save button at the bottom of your screen to save. No auto save yet. Okay, there's no auto save yet, which is going to be very important to remember. It is recommended to build more rides, sceneries, and stalls. Um, for the help button, click help. Um, play. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, dang it, the delete key is 7, that's too far. First thing we're going to do is destroy all of this. Uh, I guess we gotta close it first. Doot doot doot. Confirm, confirm. Alright, so uh, now we have a blank plot of land. And I like Pi Guy Five Five's theme park. Uh, we'll rename it to the mm, settings, maybe. Oh gosh, <laughs> a lot of settings. Um, park name. Okay, good. So there is an entry cost. So um, this is working so far like a roller roller coaster tycoon game in terms of literally everything to the you know user interface to the rides to the way you know you have to enter and exit and uh... let's just name this the the epic park of epic testing and it will be just you know twenty dollars to get in i'm not i ain't bill gates quite yet <laughs> Okay, so you can't build this with other people. Um, Playtime at this park. A lot of park expansion areas. Now, here's here's um one thing that really scares me is that all these areas around here you need to actually expand into. So if you want to have a um, 
a large area to build with, you obviously have to get something up, something up sooner, which hopefully there will be more of a uh, sandbox feature in uh, the near future. But for now, let's just um let's just see if we can run run a regular little path around here and uh we'll have you know scenery maybe over there have this coming over here now one thing that is going to be interesting is that you're going to have to be building building around everything oh transportation rides water rides roller coasters nice 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 um gentle cars or vintage cars under gentle rides so uh, actually I wanna know how this works if I just um oh so it's like the um park station segment okay and uh, we can do that and that and that and that and just make it the most boring thing ever Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can have a bank. My goodness. Ooh. Track collides with something. What? No, it doesn't. It doesn't collide with anything. Undo, undo, undo. Ooh, so it costs some money if you decide to uh, redo it. Well, uh, I'm going to have to redo that anyways. So, uh vintage rides I think I'll just have the station over here and we'll make these all station segments forward station segments uh, have four station segments and then we can get out into the actual ride we'll start off with a nice easy turn go into a bit of straight and then we'll have a little incline Ooh. This is nice, nice and fancy. We'll level it off. Then we'll start going back. No, no, no. We'll actually stay up for a little bit. We're going to go up a little bit more. And then we're going to level it out. And here is where we start to go down. And you'll go down really super mega fast. And uh, I'm not really sure what the best way to play this game is. And then at the end of this, we'll just uh, come out into a nice, pretty, pretty easy turn. We'll have it come into here. We'll have a couple straight paths. And then maybe we'll do this and go straight some more. Have it go through. Nah, let's not do that just yet. We'll have a pretty sharp turn there, here, and straight, 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 straight. And then we'll have a really, really, no, not a really sharp turn. We'll have a little, little turn right there. And then we can do this and that. And that's our ride. So this is Pi's first ride in um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Hopefully... Hopefully not the worst. Let's call it the Pi's first and most inefficient ride. And I was about to go walk off the edge of the world in absolute, absolute, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Happiness? I don't even know. Entry cost, here we go. This is going to be $31. Can I make it? Oh, I can't make it 314 so I'll just make it thirty dollars to get on the this amazing ride right here. Okay, and then we gotta build the entrance, which is there, and then we have to build the exit, which can just be there. So I don't know how this is really going to work as in terms of scenery. No, 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 no. Undo, undo, undo. Like, I don't want any of that. 
Uh, if we just go into some serpentine serpentines, we have that as our exit path, and we have our qui path as this. We have it coming. Oh no, not like that. We have our. Have to get used to the buttons on this. Oh, uh, there we go. Have our qui path go like this and like this and that looks good that looks good um, we'll have a um, let's have a path out here one two and we will have a bench a couple benches one two benches there We'll have other path attachment. Let's get a light. So it looks like this is going to be much more optimized, which is nice, nice, nice. Uh, we'll get a nice fancy-ish trash can, and we'll just put that nowhere because I can't do anything. Fences and walls. Here we go. Fences and walls. Oh, uh, that's not really the kind of fence I was looking for. Hmm. Do they just have, like, here we go. These are the kind of ones I want. But do they have anything a little b better? Uh, theming might be a really important thing in this game in the future. So if we just do... Doot, 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 doot. There we go. And uh, no, not not like that. Come on, game. I thought you were better than this. Do 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 do. Okay. Now I just have to lead delete that extra part and oh gosh we're already down to almost no money I'm gonna have to open this ride I don't know why they don't have uh, supports right there on that turn that actually scares me a little bit uh, maybe we'll put be able to put something really neat there like crystals but we're not that <laughs> that rich quite yet so, uh, block manipulation here. This is like a much, much more organized. Hmm. Much more organized. Whoa. That's, um, two meters. I'm not sure how I like this terrain thing. Oh, well, um, I really don't like it now. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, I think I'm saved. <laughs> I think I'm saved. Um, we just, you know, I, I don't know. I really don't know. This is really interesting. Maybe if we just, like, um, I don't know. This seems very, very... inefficient that's the word I'm looking for if we go back to edit terrain height and we go down just keep all of this there at two or there we go that's this is the tool I needed so that makes it bigger bigger tool um, we'll have this part as a negative four Gosh, this is looking so ugly so far. Uh, maybe it's because the water's in there. That would be probably the right, <laughs> right answer. So if we go back to edit terrain height, we increase this just a little bit, and we make that maybe negative four. So uh, we have the terrain going 
M terrain going down, and uh, we'll have our deepest part of the lake probably about here at negative six meters. And I'll even put this down a little, um, down a little more. This this still seems very very inefficient. Six, actually no, I'll have that as not. I have that as a negative. This is very very finicky. It's hard to tell how tall it's going to get. Oh jeez, that's not the slant I wanted. Oh jeez, oh gosh, I'm going to have a fun time with this, I can tell already. Oh ouch, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm not sure how I like this terrain editing so far. I'm really not sure I like it at all. Maybe I accidentally made that a slap. I don't think I did, but um it looks pretty ugly. It looks pretty not good from here. Pretty not good. Maybe if I... This is paint terrain. If we just do brown rock, do 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 dirt this all up, and then we come down into the, you know, rock rock. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to fiddle around with the uh, terrain, terrain techniques and methods and whatnot. That's something I'll definitely have to experiment with. I mean, this right here, I, th I th that's just kind of, you know, not even like what I wanted. So, uh, terrain features are definitely going to be something that will probably be the bane of my existence. Oh, there we go, there we go, that's the remove remove tool. That right there is uh, what I needed. There we go. And now we can just continue with my endless agony of trying to get this to work. I don't think anyone's going on this ride. They probably think it's too expensive. Do, 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 just a little bit of fiddling around. Oh gosh, no, please. Why did you do this? Why did you do this to me? Air. At least, at least the remove slash air thing seems to fix it. And I say seems to with a little bit of I don't knowiness. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuckity, yuck, yuck. I'm definitely going to have to mix around with the terrain text and techniques. Oh, it's almost easier to just do this. Like, seriously. Uh, if we paint terrain. Do a little bit of sand around here. It's not looking nice at all. And I always have to tab out for whatever. Oh gosh, we're already out of money. Already out of money. Okay, let's just make this $1. This will be a $1 ride. $1. Okay, it'll be a $3 ride. It'll be a $3 ride. And it'll be $0 to get in. There we go. So now we're going to have all the visitors come in for our amazing vintage cars ride. All right, here we go. Our first first people. We have Eugene and we have Vivian. Oh my, oh my. They have no idea what they're in for. Ooh, ooh look at that incline. 
Oh gosh. Oh, they're really scared right now. That that wasn't even the tallest drop. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. They can't even think about it right now. They're so scared. It's going so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Going into the turn. Okay, that's cleanly not working. Okay, so maybe it's not the best ride, but it's longer than most of the rides. And of course, I really think that this customization with the rides is a good thing. Uh, it looks like this ride keeps filling up, so I think we'll increase this to maybe ten dollars because I really need the money, supply, and demand. Maybe you can only have a maximum amount of visitors until you get more rides. Either way, let's just see what the water is going to do, and then I think we will we'll end end this little part here. Um, you know, I think I'll add a couple trees, and then, you know, we're already out of money, so, there we go, we planted a tree. Now, um, Theme Park Tycoon 2 is, you know, I, this game is going to definitely take a lot of fiddling around with, I mean, in this episode alone, it's just literally me going through what, you know, I, I think that this is one of those games where everything could easily go very wrong very quickly. And so, you know, I don't know. If you guys want to see more, let me know. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, never mind, never mind. We are going to be using this ride. We are going to be using this ride. Right, here we go. F to toggle camera. F to toggle camera. Um, I'm not sure how to go into scenic mode, but um, I probably should have written it down. Okay, here we go up. Here we go up. Here we go up. It's me and Case against the world. Ah, 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 what? Ah, ah, ah. So, anyways, guys, that was Theme Park Tycoon 2. I'm not really th sure about my view on the game yet. I think that it's it's definitely going to be a lot more optimized than Pool Tycoon 4 was, especially in the terms of building. Um, really, guys, let me know if you want to see me do an actual build on this, because I'm going to have to do a lot of experimenting with it, and if it's going to be a very long time commitment, I need to know that you guys really want to see it. So, this has been Pi. Leave a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. And see you guys next time.